Welcome to the Elisa Studio Quick Starts. This video will cover how to select, create, modify, solo, and visually solo multiple sources all at the same time with source control groups. In this session, we have a few sources already created, named, and placed on the soundscape. Open the groups list on the left side of the soundscape, which will show any created groups in your session. Simply click and drag a source into the groups list to create a group that can be renamed. In this example, we'll create a group for our drum kit. We can add additional sources into the drum group that we've just created. And now, we can control the entire drum kit group on the soundscape with every parameter. Pan, width, distance, elevation, aux send, and pan spread. While the group is selected, you can move an individual source within that group by holding the Option key on Mac and Alt key on Windows. When released, you now have full control of the group again. We can then create additional groups for the remaining sources. One group for bass, guitars, and backing vocals. When a group is selected, you can see that all of the sources within that group are also selected, and a source can be part of multiple different groups. For example, all of the instruments apart from the vocals can be added into a group called Band. And we can see that the kick drum remains selected as we switch groups. Similar to the sources page, there are a few more controls found on the groups page. You can navigate to the groups page with the keyboard shortcuts Command-3 on Mac and Control-3 on Windows. You can rename a created group, change its colors, and enable control from plugins or external OSC. By double-clicking on the Source ID column, you can change what sources are in the group by deselecting or adding additional sources. Lastly, on the soundscape, the behaviors for solo and visual solo apply to the groups, as well as the pan spread parameter for ease of control. This has been the Eliza Studio Quick Start for Source Control Groups.